Market to Market is everywhere you are. Subscribe to Market to Market on YouTube, find us on the PBS video app to stream on demand, and add our three podcasts on your favorite podcasting app. A lot about what Congress will do or can do is it will be determined by this election. I mean, I think we have very stark differences in governing um, philosophy or ideology and direction, and those things will will have a huge impact on it. Are there areas that matter more um, geographically where members come from and carrying weight in these discussions? Farm bills are really regional. Uh, we have kind of this three-part sort of farm uh, coalition. We have the Midwestern corn interest, we have wheat interest in the Western uh, plains in particular, and then the Southern commodities, cotton and rice and peanuts. And so a lot of farm policy is sort of dictated by how those three interact or work together or don't work together or kind of the conflicts and negotiations around that. And then I, I you think a lot about how that that coalition or that group of interests then kind of are, are driving forces and getting a farm bill, particularly through committees. And then your bigger coalition really involves the food assistance program and the supplemental nutrition assistance program, which has become, well, it's always been very political. It's become much more partisan uh, in recent years. And there's been a huge uh, challenge for writing a farm bill whenever there's this sort of partisan attack on it. So you've got the farm interest, you've got the low income food assistance, and then you have conservation, which really is kind of a connective tissue between um, a lot of farm country and a lot of non-farm country because, you know, the impacts on natural resources like water, uh, like habitat, uh, and those sorts of things really come through the conservation titles. You're a policy guy, maybe not necessarily an election guy. Um, (laughs) However, let's put the two together. Is there a certain, I guess I don't, a certain party in charge is one question, but a certain type of leader that could emerge in either one of these scenarios, if it is a red wave or if blue stays in power, on how maybe some of the questions that you just mentioned are answered? Yes, I I think what we've seen, again, using the the two most recent farm bill cycles is our kind of... uh, the meeting. Our example, our, what we can work from uh, as the most recent history. In those cases, uh, the House of Representatives in particular focused very much on budget cutting by Republican uh, leadership. And when that is the case, obviously the biggest budget item is SNAP. And so we sort of, you can almost see it happen. If we redirect to the, you know, to the budget, 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 how do we cut spending? How do we you know, deal with deficits and so forth? then you just see it progress into, well, then we've got to go after SNAP. And once you do that, it really complicates or uh, nearly tears apart that coalition. And then the votes that you need to get through, as I like to say that once you go down, you know, once everything's, uh, you know, uh, once everything's a budget issue, you know, kind of the old, if, if all I have is a hammer, everything's a nail, it doesn't end with SNAP. I mean, they're going to look at farm subsidies. They're going to look at crop insurance and conservation. It, it, it becomes a sort of, we've got to cut, cut and cut. And so it is a counterproductive policy discussion. It becomes very partisan and it becomes, you know, very hard to hold together a coalition that is needed to get the votes uh, in Congress. Those involved in agriculture think it's pretty important. Um, But does that issue resonate with the regular voter uh, in all of these congressional and Senate districts that this is something that you, I don't see an ad for Congress or Senate on my TV that highlights so-and-so will cut everything in the farm bill or will bloat it. I don't see it. Do you? You know, it is uh, sort of, uh, you know, thinking through history. I I think the last time we can, we can kind of pinpoint where a farm bill uh, policy may have had an impact on an election was probably 1954, at least from the arguments from from a lot of the players at the time, um, so it's not you're not likely to see any you know political ads really focus in on this, and I mean that's just the nature of a thirty second ad and the sort of brutal skim across the top of things that politics and campaigning kind of requires, but I think it's this this sort of governing philosophy that that matters. Are we thinking about 
policies and programs in the sense of, you know, we, we talk about inflation, for example, and inflation, inflation, inflation is a big issue. Okay. The, the follow on question is, well, how do you address it? What are the things that, that, that a member or a candidate are going or say they're going to do to actually address inflation? How do you view it? You know, if it's all budget cutting, well, a program like SNAP will increase in an inflationary situation because the cost of food that's used to calculate those benefits is going to, is going to go up to some degree. Um, and so I think, I think there are those kind of guider, guidance pieces that you get out of your 30-second commercial. Like if this is a candidate looking, um, looking at, at some of the partisan you know, budget pieces, then you can imagine that, that they're going to have a, a challenge with the farm mm-hmm. bill. The full conversation with Jonathan Coppice is available now on our YouTube channel and where you get your podcasts.